What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online and today we have a question of the day which is what is the worst glitch that you've encountered in Red Dead Online? Now that's not related to the video that's just what we're talking about today and in previous video today we did five worst glitches. Right now we're going to talk about how you can make an extra 20 to $30 and then 500 experience every 20 minutes no matter what you're doing in Red Dead Online. Now this this mainly points to, for, I mean, you have to be in free realm to do this. This doesn't work if you're gonna do showdown series or whatnot. This only works in free realm and it can just make whatever you're doing that much more effective. Now we recently did a video on the channel where I tested like the main money-making free realm methods against each other um, and, and to see which was the best one and to my surprise hunting was actually a really really great way of making money the best method i had was catching sturgeon outside of the blackwater butcher and moving along that lake area uh that earned me 130 dollars every half hour so about 260 dollars an hour i also tested hunting out in the roads lemoyne north of saint denis area and that method earned me $106 every 30 minutes. If you combine that method of hunting with stranger missions, you can actually make that an even better method of making money than catching the sturgeon. Now, I'll warn you, when I was testing the hunting method against the sturgeon method in a previous video yesterday, I got pretty fortunate with my hunt. I found a lot of birds. I was hitting my shots that I don't normally hit, and I got pretty fortunate so a hundred uh, dollars plus I think is on the higher end for hunting but there's good news is that the stranger missions I'm talking about are ones where you get a long timer and you don't necessarily need to be applying yourself all the time so there's a difference of stranger missions you've probably known there's deliveries there's escorts you have hunting you have rescues recoveries horse theft there's jail breakouts coach robberies and um, assassinations so out of all those ones, there's a few of these stranger missions that work much better than the other ones. The best one being hunting. There's also a very good one. You can, you can do deliveries. Something where it won't work is like an escort. When you're escorting someone, you really need to buy, be by them the whole time. So this method doesn't work very well with escorting. What, essentially what you're doing is you start a hunting mission, let's say, right? So you go to a stranger mission, you start a hunting mission, and then you get to a point in that mission where you have the big timer up top that's letting you know how much time you have left, but you almost complete it. So you, it, all you need is a minute to go finish this mission, and then you use the rest of the time to keep doing what you're doing. Let's go on a hunt. So we keep hunting and getting pelts and animal furs and whatnot, and then we go back to the butcher, turn that stuff in right before we turn in the stranger mission. This works really well with hunting, and I'll tell you, there's three uh, characters who give you hunting missions that I know of, and they're all on the in the St. Denis inroad areas. You have Alden, Trelawney, and Angus. So Angus is in St. Denis, and Trelawney and Alden. Alden's the guy that's at the train station, and then Trelawney's the guy that's a little bit north of Rhodes in that kind of broke down hut area. So those three characters are going to give you, they have the possibility of giving you hunting missions. And when you get this mission, you're going to get a 20 minute timer. Once you execute it, you'll, you'll get the side mission and then there'll be a, a point on your map where you need to go check it out. Go to that area and get the timer to commence. Now, the nice part about hunting missions is you can just d finish basically the whole mission. You end up searching for clues. You find three clues. And then the animal appears that you need to kill. So you kill the animal and then you put it on the back of your horse, whatever you need to get from that animal. It's different time. Different animals have different things. Sometimes you just need the uh, pelt. Sometimes you need the whole animal, like a wolf or something. You put that on the back of your horse and then you take the rest of the 15 minutes because this first part only really takes you about five minutes and you take the rest of this time and you just go hunting. Now there's, th this is really good because the way that Rockstar gives money for their like showdown activities and their and their uh missions the way they decide how much money you get is by how long you spend doing that activity so when you initiate the 20 minute timer and you kill the animal and get its uh proper thing that you need for the quest on your horse the only task left is then to take that animal carcass to the finish point which for hunting missions is generally like the center 
of of the uh, the area. So in Rhodes, you would take it to the train station, and but you don't yet. Instead, you spend that 15 minutes hunting other animals. You go around, and this works super well in Rhodes, especially because there's tons of deer. There's tons of uh, alligators nearby in, the, in that Lemoyne area, and there's those birds. So you get ready to complete the entire mission, and don't. Just go around and take that extra 15 minutes and hunt. While you take this time, the game thinks that you're working on the mission the whole time, so it pays you accordingly for how, much, how long you take. And then when the timer clicks down to about three minutes, you actively go search out the finish. Make sure that you sell all your necessary things to the butcher first because you do get a cutscene when you turn in hunting missions and you end up losing any pelts you'll have on your horse so make sure you go to the butcher first don't sell the animal that you're turning in to finish the stranger mission the quest and then you go and finish the quest and these quests when you max out the time are going to give you 20 plus dollars and 500 plus experience I, I think i got like 450 or something like that when i did this um, and, and the nice part is is that you earn so much more. It's an easy way of just earning 20 more bucks. Hunt on your way down to the, to the uh, area where you're gonna kill this big animal that's apparently terrorizing the town. Kill the animal and then instead of finishing the quest right away, just let that timer tick down so you get paid more for your time. It makes complete sense to me. I want to thank you guys in the comments for bringing this forward because it was you guys that brought this to my attention. I think if I added the hunting uh, stranger mission on top of just regular free room hunting, I think I could up the amount of money that this is making you every half hour. One thing to note on this though is that I was kind of unfortunate in the area that I was sent to hunt down the animal in this video was kind of secluded from where I know to hunt really good animals. I, when I go out hunting for money, I like getting the deer, I like getting the birds, I like getting the 10 big game meats, so you know, I'll kill an alligator or two. If you're lucky, you can find the small alligators and then you can even sc uh, store their pelts on your horse without taking up that big spot. So I like doing this and where I got put for the stranger mission wasn't in an area I was super familiar hunting, but I'm sure as you spend more time going in, these areas will make more sense. And it's not just these hunting missions that you can do. Any stranger mission that gives you a timer theoretically will allow you to take advantage of it in this manner and just catching a few extra animals here and there and then turning everything when time's almost run out so you get you know the full load. One note though, when you do this, one thing I have to note is that in order to start your session, right, you probably want to load in to, so for example, Rhodes is a really good area to do this because you have Aldwin and Trulani who can give you hunting missions. So it's a really good place to start. You want to load into New Austin and then fast travel over to Rhodes. And I know this is going to cost you a little bit of money, but you'll earn it in the, in the, when you're done with everything, you'll earn that money back. And the reason you wanna do this is because anytime you start a stranger mission, at some point during that mission, other players in your area will be notified that you've started the mission and they can come then and uh, either stop you from it, if they were really nice, they could help you, but they can become a part of it. So what I had happen was I, got to the point where the wolf appeared and then instead of killing the wolf right away i started running around and hunting other things and during this time another player came in and killed the wolf that i needed to kill for my mission fortunately the player was killed by the wolf pack and i was able to come in and still secure the wolf for myself um and the player didn't end up griefing me or anything but you want to make sure that when you're utilizing this method because it does involve spending 20 minutes out gathering different items you don't want to put yourself around other players who are one could grief you in the first place but two they're being notified that you're there trying to do something and it just gives a little bit more extra incentive that if there's more people around you for one of them to come and mess with, mess things up so that's my note on the hunting side of things i believe hunting to be the hunting stranger missions to be the best way of going about these you could do it with deliveries as well most stranger missions will allow you to do this it's not going to work with things like um escorts and stuff like that because you really got to be by um the the area most of the time assassinations can be difficult because sometimes you end up needing a lot of the time to like find the different people that you're gonna go assassinate 
Also, you don't want to do a player assassination mission because you're just going to end up getting targeted by a player and those are really hard to complete if a player is not interested in fighting you. They're just going to ride away and that won't allow you to complete them. They don't have a long timer on them. That's what makes the hunting so good is that it does have that long timer. So that about brings us to a close. Guys, I appreciate you bringing this to my attention. I, th this is an obvious way of maximizing your time inside Red Dead Online and getting the most out of hunting. Um, so thank you. I, I didn't think about this, but adding one and two together makes three. It's more effective. I appreciate that. If you guys continue to leave those comments down below, not only is it helpful to me, but also to the community that we're trying to build here. So thank you for all who are taking part in that. Really appreciate the recent support on the channel. We're 3,500 subscribers and growing. Um, we're going to keep pushing. Double daily uploads for you guys. If you haven't subbed already, make sure to sub. We're bringing that content out for you. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in a future piece of content.